Yo, what's going on, peeps? We're back with another vid. You really know the vibes by now. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share. <sighs> Play your ratings time. Spurs nil, Man United three. Uh, we just done the video for the game. I done my little reviews. If you've not seen it, go and check it out now. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on that. I'm still fuming. Um, I don't know what to say to be honest. Um, this video will probably land tomorrow, so and by tomorrow that will be Sunday. I'm doing it today because tomorrow, first of all, I've got work, and second of all, I'm just gonna be still fuming. And obviously, half term's over, so I'll go get my daughter ready to go back to school. So I'm doing it now and setting it to land tomorrow but i'll give you a quick synopsis of the game give you a little summary shit spineless cowardly it's just possum possum hotspur they all played dead laid down gave up you know when you see one of those dogs and they just bark, bark, and then all of a sudden they just lay down on their back and let you rub their tummy? That's what that was. They weren't winning 50-50s. They didn't look like scoring a goal, apart from the goal that was offside and the sun chance in the first half. Other than that, there weren't nothing in it. There's a whole lot of sideways and huffing and puffing and not blowing down no house. That's what it was. And I'm just bored. Didn't want this man in here. I told you if this guy comes in, he's just going to be... Don't expect nothing. It's going to be downwards from here. He thought it was better than Jose. He's going to be even worse under this guy. He finished seventh with Wolves. Fine. We'd be lucky to get top ten with this guy. The sooner you get him out, the better. Because this way he's going to have a fight in relegation. He ain't got a clue. Took it for our best player and after 53 minutes. And the fans, like me, were very confused and they made it well, they made it known what they were feeling. And he does that. And does he come does the substitution come in to do anything? No. We still lose the game and the person he put on didn't do anything in that time. So now another dumb decision and it doesn't work. Now you have to answer questions. And he's saying our players are not committed enough. They're not committed because they're not they don't believe in your philosophy, mate. To be honest, I don't think it's the players, I think it's you. They don't believe in you. So they're not pushing and committing. Because they're not committed to your shit and what you're trying to put across. Because it ain't them and it ain't how Tottenham play and they don't want you here. It's perfectly clear. But that's that and I'm done. I'm doing let me get into this pay ratings. I wanna wrap this up quick so I can just go and chill and try and unwind. So let's get to it. Get to the pay ratings. Hang on, let me get the thing up. There we go. Hugo Lloris, to be honest, considered three goals, but other than that, made one save from Fred, didn't have much to do. Couldn't do anything with the three goals, to be fair to him. The Ronaldo finish, exquisite. That's what I want from my players, like Harry Kane, Son, but we don't have world-class players like that. Not like that. Different level. Cavani, different level. They show that today. Uh, the Cavani goal, brilliant play. That little quave turn, done, skipped, dirty, set him to a next dimension. And brilliant finish from Cavani, so... They were the best players. And the goal from Rashford couldn't do anything with that either. Another good finish, good play. Bottom bins, no chance. But again, whether or not he had anything to do, he considered three goals. So he can't get anything high. So he's going to get a three. You see, three goals, you get three out of ten. That's it. It should be zero, but I can't do that because he didn't have nothing to do. 
and the chances he didn't have nothing to do with those goals. So I'll give him a three. That's probably fair. Romero, probably the one that showed anything in that back line. He was going forward, had a goal disallowed. He was defending, being strong, trying to do what he had to do. But the people around him were not helping. I would give Romero probably a five. Emerson Royal, awful again. I don't see what he does that Aurier or Doherty don't do. And if I'm bringing Doherty into this conversation, then you know it's bad. Or Tanganga. Tanga goes forward, at least he can do something. This guy goes forward, he can't cross, can't pass. He looks like he's got two, looks like he's dancing on ice. You don't look great, doesn't look convincing. Defensively, you don't look convincing. So he's brought this player in for what reason? It's supposed to be an upgrade on what you have. That's what you do when you buy a player for in a position, unless you want someone as a backup. But I feel getting someone as a replacement, they need to be better than what you have. And he's not. Him, awful again, didn't do anything. Giving him a one, sorry, not good enough. Eric Dyer got some headers. Seen him slip. Defending, he just, they just couldn't contain Ronaldo, couldn't contain Fernandez, couldn't contain the fun, Cavani. The best one was definitely uh, Mamero, but at that back line, it was not great. Eric Dyer, I'm going to give him a three. Ben Davis, zero. You let Ronaldo get behind him to hit that volley. Went forward, had a header. Instead of calling, just, he, just, he just shit. He doesn't go forward, he doesn't bring anything to the team. That's why he's getting a zero. Because he shouldn't have been playing and he don't bring nothing to the team. He's just sideways, backwards, all safe. Doesn't go forward to put in a cross, even though he can't cross, but I don't even need to make an attempt. He's not good enough and he needs to leave this team. His time is up at this club. That's why he's only got one yellow card because he doesn't play, because he's shit. So how he got ahead of Regalon is beyond me. Don't blame him. Manager put him in, but he went great. Zero for me. The Celso, zero. Didn't do anything. He was on for around 73 minutes. Didn't do anything. Gave the ball away. Corners are not great. Hitting the first man. Just shit, to be honest with you. And how he got ahead of Ndombele as well. Not, I have no idea because I had Ndombele and Regulon in. Other than that, I think he pretty much went with the team that I went with. But... He he got it wrong. And the Celso was shocking again. He looks like he's gonna do something. So he gets off the, and as you see that, oh, oh is, is he? Is he is he gonna? Is he not? Then it's he's it's a knot. Usually nine times out of ten it's a knot. He don't bring anything to this midfield. He's not risky enough, he doesn't have any pace, he doesn't pass, he can't hold the ball, he's not strong enough. And when he passes, it doesn't go anywhere where you expect it to go. He can't cut through the fence with a pass like Ericsson could and then Dumbly can. He just he just don't bring anything. So for me, zero. Should have been off a long time. When the Lucas came off, that's when the Celso should have been off. Zero. Skip. He was at fault for the second goal. But apart from that, in that midfield, him and Heidberg were doing a job. He weren't, he weren't bad, he was okay, but again, he had the ball, gave it away for Fernandez to come through, then Ronaldo gave him a little quiet turn and then sent him to a different dimension, a whole different decade and the rest is history. So for that, that's two mistakes. You didn't watch the ball, you watched the man, so you get in a two. Those are costly mistakes, sorry. Two. Other than that, he wasn't bad. He would have got a five, but because of that, two. Heiberg, not great. Done all right. Put in the, in the first half. Second half, they just, the whole team was shit, to be honest. But it is what it is. Didn't do nothing bad. Didn't do nothing great. Just probably average, just below, I'll say. Decent first half. Shocking second. Probably four, probably fair. Son, five, I'm going to give him a five because 
even the second half at the end, he was the only one I saw going to do anything and try and make anything happen. If it was going to happen for us, it was going to come from him. Because it definitely weren't coming from Harry Kane and it definitely weren't coming from this also. He had his chance in the first half, but he didn't take it. it, is what it is. Not going to fault him. But other than that, if anything's happened like from the corners or anything, it looked like it was going to come from him. But unfortunately, it weren't to be. But for me, Son, best player on the pitch, him and Lucas, he gets a five. Lucas, he's going to get... I think he might have been definitely just above Son. I'm going to give him a seven. Lucas, for that 53 minutes that he was on the pitch, he was chasing down things, ringing balls. He got he got fouled, sort of crying like a little bitch. He got up, played on. He was chasing down players, winning the ball back, doing what I expect Lucas to do. The only thing he didn't get was a goal. But other than that, he was running around and doing what he does. So I think, for me, even though we lost, he came off early. He came off when it was 1-0. So, for his performance that he was on the pitch, because that's all I can mark, he's getting a 7 because he was, it was either him or Son that was going to deliver, do something, or try and make something happen. It was only them two, and he was ducking down, man trying to win the ball back in midfield. So for me, Son, not Son, Lucas, he's going to hold a seven. Harry Kane, zero. He did nothing but give the ball away. He don't look interested. He shouldn't be in the team. He needs to be dropped now. This is getting ridiculous now. I'm sorry. But if he was at any other team, and I hate to say it, but even if he's at Chelsea or even them scumbags, Arsenal, playing like this, he's getting dropped. No two ways about it. He's getting dropped. He's not playing like this at any other big six teams and getting in every week. He's just not. I think even at Burnley, if he played like this, he would not be in the next week. He would not be playing week in, week out. I promise you. You can't keep putting this guy in and expecting him and hoping that he's going to just come good. Get him out of the firing line. Give him a break. Let him get himself together. He's obviously, he's not in the game. And the fans are wanting his case. They're booing him. Rightly so, because he's been shit. He scored one goal this season. And he made it clear he wanted to leave. So, you have to take what comes with it. When you come out and, and do things like that. Which is not good. And usually Harry Kane, usually PR is good. He don't usually do anything stupid. He usually keeps himself to himself and keeps quiet. But that there was his first blunder. And now he has to wear that. For me, he needs to be dropped. I don't want to see him in the next game. Let me see who we got next. Because I don't want to see him in this game. I'm sorry. I've seen enough. And I've had enough. I don't care about the Europa League. We've got everything away. I don't want to see him. Because he's just letting down the side. He's not. He had a chance when he was through. He won the ball back well. High up the pitch. He ran in. Son was running there, Bergvan was there, and he'd done some little clip cross thing that was easily intercepted, and that's what led to the course of booze, and that's for when that's when it started, and he was getting absolutely battered by the fans, and rightly so, because he shouldn't be on the pitch. And I think that's what the fans are trying to say. Boo, get off the pitch. You're not good enough. But you are, but you're just not performing, so get out of the team. Because you've, you've, you've been playing how many games? Probably eight games and you've done nothing. Apart from that one game and you got a goal. But other than that, you haven't really bought much. So, just get out and just get off the pitch. Just do something other than seeing you week in, week out. I'm tired of seeing you and your dead performances. You must just put a freaking a dead fish on the pitch. I'd rather watch that because you're doing nothing. Bergvine Zero. He came on, didn't do anything. I don't remember one thing he'd done, apart from pass sideways. And he put on a little cross at the end for Kane that he looked like he was scared of the ball. Like he saw the ball and he just, he flinched and panicked like he was going to hit him. He's like, uh -huh. no. For me, Bervine needs to leave as well. He's on the players that need to leave. Sorry, 
he's been there long enough, he's done nothing but get injured and he doesn't do nowhere near enough for me to warrant being in this club. So for me, he's one that's got to leave along with Harry Winks and Delhi and Eric Dye and a few others that need to get out and Harry Kane because they're just not, they're not on it and they're not good enough. Um, and Don Blay came on, he's trying to motivate, trying to go forward. He was passing forward for the most part, but there's only so much you can do. And he looked all right when he came on for, for Skip, to be fair. But the team were not really doing anything. So the attacking front, attacking players weren't really trying to do anything. That they, wanted. they didn't look like they wanted to score, put it that way. The whole attacking line looked like they were allergic to the goal. And if they scored, they were going to die or something. Or have some allergic reaction. That's what it looked like. So, it's what it is. I give him a five. Delhi came on. Don't know why he put him on. He just put off another piece of dead wood for another piece of dead wood. So, I guess it is a straight swap. And for me, he didn't do nothing but pass sideways, do everything safe, and not good enough. He had time to make some type of impression, just over 15 minutes. And for me... The only thing I can say is that I don't think he gave the ball away with his passes. So with that, he'd get a one. It's just that simple. I'm not here to to be giving players lovely scores just to be nice. This is the unbiased fan channel. So there's no bias. Even if I love you as a player, I'm sorry, but if you're not delivering on the day, of the, and you're getting player ratings, if you drop a stinker, then you're going to get zero or one. Like, Son, that's my guy. But sometimes he plays bad, and he had that little spell when Kane first said he wanted to leave, and he was awful. And when I done the player ratings, it reflected that. Even Harry Kane. But, again, you're playing shit, you're going to get a shit score. It's just that simple. Call the spade a spade. So... That is what it is. That's the play ratings. Manager rating, zero. He got it wrong with the lineup. The subs are questionable, especially the first one, taking off Lucas. Even he was shot. The fans, the stadium was shot. I think even the Man United fans are probably booing at this point. Um. So, yeah, he don't know what he's doing. I was never Nuno in. I've always been Nuno out. And if anything... That's just been turned up a little, turned up a notch, and he needs to be out tonight. Because the longer it goes on like this, we're just going to fall down the table and we're going to get beaten by everyone because you're not even competing. All our derbies, people saying that Watford don't really count as a derby, I don't care, I'm sorry. Rather the Fulham one than that, no, not for me. But they're throwing it in there. But we've lost them. Crystal Palace, West Ham. Chelsea, Arsenal, lost them all. And we scored one goal in out of them games there. Not good enough. This is too big a job. He needs to stay to his level. And this ain't it, unfortunately. It looks like a fish out of water. And it looks like he just, any minute, he's just going to suffocate. And that's where I'm at. And he needs to be out. But anyway, enjoy the rest of the weekend. As I said, this will be dropping on Monday. So, of course. I'm not doing no video for the conference because it's just an absolute shit show. But enjoy the rest of your weekend. And obviously, when it's time to go back to work, make sure you enjoy. I'm out of here. And as always, and it will be until he's gone, Nuno out. Peace.